Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we will be looking at my Salaman Great deck for the, um, whatever month it is, June, whatever. Um, <laughs> Salaman Great deck for the June format. Um, you could say this is post-June ban list, even though it, that doesn't really matter because the June ban list didn't affect this deck, nor any deck at all, except kind of necros like even ritual beast i don't even care like three caught on a hawk it doesn't really unlock anything because everything's like on once per turn you just you're just looping the same connor hawk over and over again like three connor hawk it's just oh if they out the connor hawk now you can summon more connor hawks later but it doesn't matter so going into the deck we'll do hand traps first because that's how it's decided to sort it so two ash two crow two valor two phantasme two nib um I like this because I just like playing two ofs for hand traps. I don't know why. You can, of course, change these to some three ofs, some two ofs. Just, I like this um, number. I like ten. Just ten hand traps. You can put, like, whatever you want here. I guess one imperm to eleven. You can play eleven hand traps, whatever you want there. Just, um, yeah, I just like eleven. So just put whatever you want here. But I prefer two ofs so you don't open multiples. And because especially these three are um, hard ones. So, if you open two, they're just dead. Unless you have them Phantasma, so you can Phantasma to shuffle back the other one. But that doesn't matter. So, you play those. Uh, three debug. Um, I don't like Buffalo anymore because Buffalo... Two things. A, Buffalo actually requires something else to be in your hand in order to work. Another Salad or, like, a Cyburst monster. But the thing is, is that um, I'm playing a small amount of Salads or Cybursts because um, just the format is just really fast. And you want to be seeing cards like hand traps, or you want to be seeing desires, you want to be seeing, um, like, will and stuff. Like, really powerful cards exceed, that just put a lot of pressure on the board on their own. You don't want to be seeing, um, just random Salamangrates that aren't really doing anything, like Jaguar, just chilling in your hand. So you much prefer to just debug, and then make access code talker, and just start killing people. Um... Three, three exceed um exceed is extremely powerful it summons itself from your hand then summons another one from deck it makes them both level four so then you can make um dweller or baguska and basically against a lot of matchups right now um like animance beta for example you can just summon a baguska and then you just win because you baguska and then you just chill and then it comes back to your turn like once the baguska has run out and then you just jam a otk them with like transcode so that's really good and also, since all your good monsters are links anyway, you might as well just do it, you know, because you're, they're not going to be affected at all. So all your extra deck is just completely unaffected by Bagusco. So you can actually OTK while you have Bagusco on the field. So that's really good. Uh, so for Salads, we play three Foxy, one Falco, one Gaz, double Jaguar, double Spinny. Um, this is decently standard. Like, some people play three Spinny, some people play two Foxy. Um, some people don't play Falco, some people play Chicken, um, Fowl, but I opted for this ratio because I feel like Foxy is really good because it gets you more advantage and it outs Floodgates and stuff. Um, Falco's, um, good just as the one-off to keep you grinding with, um, Rage, Roar, Circle, Will, Sanctuary, stuff like that. Um, Gazelle, it's Gazelle, you'd be playing three, but it's at one. Uh, and then two Jaguar, two Spinny because they're just the good utility ones that keep your board coming back. Uh, two Cyclone, um, Cyclone's really good this format, um, a lot of decks die to Cyclone, like the Mirror Match is really tough, because they, um, you can Cyclone their Sanctuary, and then they're losing a lot of advantage there, and it, of course against Eldritch you can Cyclone, um, stuff, so you can, like, if they, like, try and use, like, Conquistador, you can Cyclone it, and then that way they're not getting their pop, and they're not getting the search, because it's banished. So you can just like, you're technically only one for one but the thing is, is that what Eldritch does is they just get advantage. So if like you Valor their Hulk and then they, you cod, um, you Cyclone their Conquistador, sometimes that's actually just enough to just win you the game because of the fact that they just don't have anything else. Uh, three Mining basically just searches the whole deck. Um, nothing much to say. Three Desires. Um, two Desires is stupid. No Desires is even more stupid. Three Desires, it's a Desires... You're just drawing. Like, if you're not playing Desires in Salamangrate specifically, I'm not saying play Desires in every deck, because in some decks, playing Desires is bad, okay? You don't want to be playing Desires in a lot of decks. Like, um, most decks right now, like in um, Animantibator, no, Eldritch, no, Striker, yeah, you do. Like, 
you might opt for Avros over it, but I'd still recommend Desires. Um, Invoked um, Mech Knight, you can probably not go without Desires. It's just, in this deck, you don't really care what you're managing. As long as Gazelle is in your deck, you don't care. So if you like mining, add Gazelle and then Desires, and then maybe um, do Gazelle combo first and search Sanctuary, if you just Desires, you don't care what you're managing because it's just all hand traps. And you're just getting free cards. Um, so Desires are really good. Circle searches all the Salas is a really powerful card. Uh, Sanctuary, it basically is the best card in the deck, like the best card in the deck in the sense that you kind of need this card to play. Like, of course, Gazelle is better, but if you want to be playing the Salaman great part of your deck, you need Sanctuary, or you can probably just kill them with really good cyber support in the extra deck, you know, like access and stuff. Uh, Double Will. Will is just a really good extender. Um, you can like make all, you can do all your plays, and if it gets interrupted somehow, you can just activate Will, bring something back. It also um, like something like Gazelle plus Will is like a easy game through like um, Ash or whatever. So you really want that? Um, not Ash, not through Ash. Something else. I can't. I can't remember. Whatever. It's like Gazelle Will is like um, easy game because like Gazelle on its own. With um, the extra deck, I'll explain the Gazelle combo later um, when we get to the extra deck, is um, like really good. Like you can just k outright kill your opponent extremely easily with um, Gazelle. Um, so, and then we got the one Imperm, it's the 40th card. This can be anything. This can be a third Valor, this can be a um, Upstart Goblin if you want. Like this is just the 40th card. And then one Rage, one Raw. Like... If you go second, you don't want to see these cards at all, so that's why I'm only playing one, and they're readily searchable, because this searches this, and then this searches this, and then this is searches these, and then this can excavate, hit these, this, um, this, like, there's just so many ways to get to them. Uh, so we'll go to the side, we got Double Lancia, uh, just for matchups, like, um, for Eldritch, for Thunder Dragon, for Dinosaur, like, Thunder Dragon isn't really that much of an issue now, but Orcus, Dinosaur, Eldritch are the main reasons you're playing this card. Uh, Cyclone, the third one for um, Eldritch, for Striker, stuff like that. Uh, Dark Ruler No More for um, Adamancipator and some, like, other combo decks. Uh, Storm for back row decks. Evenly for Eldritch, other back row decks and stuff. Uh, this for mainly striker, but like you can use it against really anything and then double imperm for Just other things. It's just you siding in the other two imperms for um, Especially when you're going up against combo or you know you're going first and like you might just want to take out one of these hand traps and put it in Because like this is just better than this normally uh, So extra is dweller and baguska for the exceed combo uh, access code talker. This is the reason this deck is viable. This is an incredible card. I'll get back to like the combos with this later. Basically, it's like um, you can destroy like four cards your opponent controls and have it get to ex insane amounts of attack, and it can attack multiple times, like five k attack, attack twice, pop three of your opponent's cards, and your opponent can't respond to any of it. So basically, if it gets summoned. Like, and it'll use its effect, your opponent can't respond, and if they don't have anything on resolution, they're screwed. Because the thing is, is that you can't actually negate this through normal means. Like, you can't, um, strike, um, you can strike the summon, but you can't, like, um, hit the, its effects with, um, monster negation. Because it, you just can't respond to it. Um, Boralode, because it's still really good with update jammer, just outing things you shouldn't be able to out. Triple Bailinx, Triple Wolf, Double Heat Leo, that's pretty standard. Uh, one Splash Mage, this is a new card as well. Basically, it um, you target a Cyburst, summon it, um, but then you can't summon su um, monsters for the rest of the turn except Cyburst. But this is just a really good extender, and it's a water, so it's another attribute for access, because access needs different attributes in your graveyard to pop. So potentially you'll have a water, a fire, an earth, and a wind. And then you'll make this, and then you can just banish four. And then you could potentially even have, like, um, some other stuff as well. And then, finally, you got um, Transcode, which is just really good. It just revives Link Monsters. And you got Update Jammer, which its main um, ability is that it makes your Link Monsters be able to attack twice. So, basically, with Access Code Talker, what you want to do is you want to get... Um, if you're doing the one-card Gazelle, you can go Gazelle Spinny, and then you can make... Um, Splash, and then you can splash effect or gazelle spinny gazelle effect. Add um, make bailings, add sanctuary just for safety, right? And then you want to make splash, and then you splash revive this, and then you make transcode, transcode revive splash, and then you make this. So then this will go up to 53. 
attack, and then you'll have three different League monsters in your grave. So you'll have a fire, a water, and an earth, and then you can just pop those cards. And then you've also got um, cards like um, Update Jammer, which can make this attack twice. So if you manage to put this on board, then you link this into this, and then this will revive this, and then you make this, and then it can attack multiple times. Uh, so... Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. If you really liked it, be sure to subscribe. It really helps out. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.